in my yesterday session uh, i have demonstrated about how to go with mqtt publish activity through a simple piece of code where i have interfaced my mq05 sensor to node mcu and then i used adaf root also to go ahead further with the publishing of the sensory data that we have received now i told you that i am going to go with uh, a subscribe activity of mqtt uh, today and that's what i'm going to present you right now in the form of couple of videos the first video will demonstrate you how the mq05 sensor is feeding the input uh, to one of the node mcus which acts as the publisher the data is going to go into the cloud and that's the publishing activity now adaf root acts as a broker and that broker will look into the subscribers who have all subscribed for the data and it will feed in the data to the appropriate subscriber so i love another node mcu connected on the right hand side which will act as a subscriber and which will receive the data whichever is being fed in through the node mcu 1 i have two node mcus node mcu 1 for the data to be sensed and to be fed in into the cloud node mcu 2 for the data to be retrieved from the cloud the one is called as the uh, uh, the publisher the two is called as the subscriber and it is a very simple exercise please follow in the content carefully i have also explained the code and the code is very simple please follow it up if you have any queries you can uh, use the chat box to ping me thank you okay friends uh, in the last session we have uh, demonstrated about how exactly to publish the feed onto the cloud it was with mqtt publish we have published the feed onto the cloud and that's what i am exactly doing here also i am going to publish feed with this gas sensor the gas sensor is going to send the data and it is going to be published uh, to the adaf root cloud and it's done with all mqtt i have demonstrated this clearly in my previous example and the explanation now to subscribe to the data that is being published by some subscriber some publisher we need to have the data continuously sent here in one side and in another side you can see that i have got another uh, node mcu which is going to subscribe for the data which this is going to send now this sensor is going to send data to this node mcu which will publish the data onto the cloud and this node mcu is going to subscribe to that and this will act as a subscriber now i am going to prove you the uh, concept of subscription and how the data is uh, retrieved from the cloud for you to analyze it with a serial monitor simple serial monitor is what i'm going to use and you can see that i got no sensors connected here it is just node mc which is powered up that's it now uh, the code is very important as usual you can see that here i have got the same set of code here there is no change the first six on lines remain the same so this is for uh, mqtt client this is your uh, uh, node mcu esp8266 wifi module this is your name of the wifi and the password for that and you are going to uh, use the server io.adafruit.com which is our website actually and uh, port 1883 as usual uh, this is the username and aio key for the adafruit which means with this only you are going to connect it and i have got a gas data which is initialized to zero and you can see that i have got a wifi client here and i have an instance of the wifi client me and before after that we need to have mqtt client initialized with mqtt ambersen me which is nothing but an instance of this and server server is nothing but io.adafruit.com followed by port port is 1883 username username is nothing but shriram kv aio key aio key is available here now the client is all ready for the operation now next step i'm going to subscribe to the feed so adafruit mqtt underscore subscribe the feed is equal to adafruit mqtt subscribe with mqtt as a parameter ambersen mqtt username what is the username username is shriram kv which i have given here clearly shriram kv slash feed slash gas data this is the one that we are subscribing to and whatever data is published by this will be now retrieved by this using this subscription that's it is what is going to happen now when we go to the next level the setup is very simple here again it's border rate length of dictionary is set up and uh, these are all simple print of statement and i am connecting to wifi here wifi dot begin with the wifi name and password mm -hmm. i am connecting and followed by that is going to be just set up print of statements followed by the area where we are going to concentrate more on subscription now we can see that here if mqtt reach subscription of 500 which means i am getting into it after the subscription is enabled i am saying that i have got the uh, this just a print of statement uh, to ensure that the subscription is appropriate and the data retrieval is proper 
and now serial dot print of care star feed dot last week which means the last updated data the last published data should be available for you through this read and that's from your feed and i am typecasting it to a character and now i am collecting the data as a to i i am converting it to an integer and i am collecting it as the gas underscore data which i can use it sometime later now we can see that the consistent gas data is published from this onto the cloud whereas the same has been read through this subscription and that will be demonstrated right now we can see that in the cloud the data is all coming 1024 is all high which means the data is received and this is the feed which is getting published properly from this one you can see that here from this one it is getting published and it is before few seconds it has happened so i can understand that it's happening live and now for me to get the live um, subscription analysis to be done i go here this is server publish this is not one that i want mm, server fetch this code is already compiled and i have got a serial monitor here and you can see that the same data is fetched here so this is all live again so whatever data is last fetched will be available here and this is called as subscription it's a very simple exercise and you guys can try it out in your machine thank you very much i have another exercise which is going to help you out in understanding this better but this time i am going to use an ldr the code remains the same the procedure remains the same only the sensor gets changed and this time it is an ldr for you watch out friends now you can see that i am going to publish data from an ldr connection the code everything remains the same i have just interfaced the ldr here with my node mcu and this is going to publish the data for you so moment the light intensity is more closer and taken away you can see a difference in the data and that's that that can be easily visible that can be clearly seen through the data that you are getting here in the cloud so you can see that there is data which is consistently coming and based on the moment of the based on the distance that you have from the node mcu the value will get increased you can see the noise is getting increased now it's when you go closer it has double variation so this is called publishing i have just interfaced the same ldr sensor with the node mcu the connection remains the same the code remains the same nothing is different now when i go to the subscription process i just use the same code again code again it is going to be exactly the same but we are going to see the demo of how this data is obtained in another end as subscription we can see that here and the data is all perfect and this is how subscription happens now this is the man who is going to send data on